Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 31st of 2021. Well, it is titled asteroids in the distance. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually an image that shows an asteroid track, the blue track across the top, showing an asteroid in an image taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Now asteroids exist out in space and there are hundreds of thousands of them that are known and have been cataloged over the years since the first one was discovered in 1801. And most of them are absolutely no danger to the Earth as the vast majority of asteroids orbit in between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter and never come anywhere near Earth. However, there are some asteroids that do come close to Earth and that can cause uh, significant damage. Very small asteroids will do essentially nothing. Very tiniest bits will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, giving us streaks of light, uh, but not showing anything else and not causing any damage, not even making it to the ground. Larger asteroids do have the chance to be able to make it down to the Earth, and we could collect some of those as meteorites, most of them causing little or no damage. And those occur every single day. There are things that actually strike the Earth that will strike the Earth. There are always objects from space hitting the Earth, but the vast majority of them do no damage at all. However, the larger ones, which are more rare, do hit do hit the Earth and cause can cause significant damage. So something even a hundred meters across could cause some very big damage to the Earth. And the time scale for these collisions is about every thousand years or so. So about once every thousand years, something of that size will hit the Earth. And that could cause damage to the area and surrounding area should it strike on land or could cause tsunamis in the if it were to strike in the ocean damaging the distant shores off off it off uh, even a great distance away. Now, even more massive asteroids, things that are a kilometer or more in size, do occur as well, and these could have extreme consequences for the Earth. Now, these only occur tens or even hundreds of millions of years, but such as the one that uh, occurred about 65 million years ago that initiated the extinction of the dinosaurs. And that isn't the only last large asteroid that has struck Earth. There have been far more than that over time, and there have been many massive extinctions that have occurred and can be detected in the fossil record. So we know that these extinctions have occurred and not just by the damage from the asteroid itself as that would be relatively localized, but the amount of dust that it would throw up into the atmosphere cooling off the Earth for an extended period of time. And that would cause a significant change in cooling of the climate and could therefore cause mass extinctions. And of course, as you start to have some extinctions lower down in the food chain, it will continue upward and cause significant problems for many, many species. So will they happen again? Yes, the Earth will get hit again at some point in the future. But it might not be for thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even many millions of years. But we won't even necessarily know about it as many of the asteroids are difficult to track because they are very dark and difficult to track their orbits precisely because they can be very easily changed by interactions with other objects. So if it passes close to the Mars, or Jupiter or Earth, then it could change its orbit slightly and all of these things can be very difficult to predict. So that's why you'll sometimes see that an asteroid has a certain probability of striking the Earth maybe hundreds of years from now. But we really can't narrow it down until we can take all of the minor variations into account, which occur in a smaller asteroid, but things that would not affect a much larger object like Earth. So that was our picture of the day for January the 31st of 2021. It was titled Asteroids in the Distance. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Bunny Moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.